Hey everyone, welcome back to the blog. Alicia and Ken here. And in this week's video, Ken, we are discussing storm drains. So this is something that actually is a pretty hot search topic. And I want you to just give us an overview. We've done it before, but for the, the people who are here for the very first time, can you tell us just like what a storm drain is, you know, what purpose it serves and walk us through how it works? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really easy. The, the absolute easiest expl explanation is going to be um, storm water, right? Any surface water that comes from a storm goes down any surface drain, uh, drain on the side of a street, drain in the middle of the street, uh, drain in somebody's yard, um, parking lot drains, you know, big catch basins and big parking lots. That's all storm water collection units. All that water is funneled to a storm sewer. The storm sewer then is either directly emptied into a lake, a stream, a river or an ocean, or in certain municipalities, it's treated before it leaves into those, it, it's sent to a holding facility and then treated before it goes into those uh, additional sources. But stormwater or stormwater, it's, it's anything coming from a storm, surface. Surface and storm, same thing. Okay. Um, one last question here, I, I, I feel like, you know, you mentioned that you can have them, you know, might, you might find them in a store parking lot or you might find them in your yard. Are storm drains something that, I guess, if we're thinking of the homeowner, is that something that the homeowner has to install themselves or is that something that the city takes care of and makes sure that they have where they need them? So your, your surface water on your property is your responsibility, whether it be your roof drains, whether it be yard drains, driveway drain, any of those drains are your responsibility. You maintain them and you install them. Uh, generally, the city will give you a storm tap, meaning you have a connection at the city sidewalk or curb to connect your storm water to. But from that connection to your house, you own it, it belongs to you, and you're responsible to both maintain it and install it. Okay, wonderful. Well, that actually is gonna lead us into next week's video topic. So you're definitely gonna wanna make, stay, make sure that you stay tuned. Ken is gonna be telling us about how to properly maintain your storm drains. So in the meantime, if you're interested in learning more, check out the rest of our blogs, explore the website, reliabledrain.com. And if you're ready for a service from Reliable Drain, make sure you're getting in contact with them by giving them a call. Thanks for watching.